Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Stream here. It is Tuesday the 27th of February and we've got some nice mods today. We've got some actually, some bonkers and a shit ton of mods. So let's start off with, I'm going to leave timestamps down below. But yeah, first of all, we're going to start off with the Bison Dynamic by Doyce Vault. It is 58.45 megabytes to download. And yeah, there's two variations of these, but both of them are 140 horsepower. They hold 300 litres of fuel. Capacity is 500 litres. Maximum speed is 20 kilometres per hour. And they both start at 66 grand. So you'll find these under harvesters down to the end so yeah we got the bison dynamic and there are some variations here. so start off with we got the z165lx uh, if we just toggle over just different configurations of color unfortunately there's no color options on this next we got the z115 turbo 3b and then back down to Z165. Also, we head to the back. Got options for chopper or no chopper. And slot count, I forgot for this one, but it's, I think it's 10 slots to start off with, then it goes down to two. And with this, you do have some options for headers. So you got the Z. 115 header for six and a half grand and the Z165 header for eight and a half grand both 1.1 two tons 4.2 meters work width at six miles an hour and this just covers your basic grain so your wheat barley oats canola sorghum and soybeans so next we've got a card trailer and for all of these there are only limiting configurations so for both headers, it's either blue or blue and black. The black and blue changes the real colors, so the actual header bit that spins around. So, without any further ado, let's hop into this one. So, head into cab, small cab. Of course, it's more of a more of your old style of combine harvester, so like your eight is that. And actually, actually, I do like that engine sound. So if we turn on the help menu, their header, turn it on. Actually, feel the old shorts off, so I'm actually get the shorts off coming out. And yeah, nice animations. Yeah, especially just the engine sound like it's not it's not too loud, it's not too overpowering compared to similar combines like other bisons and that I've used in the past. It's not yeah, it's not overly annoying and yeah, just overall it's just a nice mod to have. So next we we'll head to the Lizard Me Back by Solutions Modding. It is 5.14 megabytes to download. It is four slots for a console. And yeah, description of this is a homey project that is nothing more than some pipes, a lawnmower engine, and some small wheels. Have fun. And settings are colours, stickers, and do have a hitch at the back. Price starts at $560. And top speed of 50 kilometers per hour. So you'll find this under cars and yep 560 so yeah got some configuration so design got no and yes and all that changes is the decals and I don't think there's anything else it changes it's literally just the decals attachers no or yes it'll add another 250 pounds adds a bull hitch on the back but I've gone to test trailers, even like the tiny small trailers I can find. There's nothing really I can find that attaches to the back of this without causing the front wheels to go up. Of course, 
It was only 415 kilograms, so it does make sense. Fuel capacity is 5 litres. We do have some colour options, and rather than just your base game palette, there are some other variations. So if we say we want a purple, main colour changes the frame. The seat colour changes the seat. The engine colour is the engine case in here, so let's pick a blue. So yeah, it changes the engine case in. And then rims, obviously, changes the rims. So yeah, we have a nice vibrant green there. And yeah, let's just go and have a look here. Once again, we'll open the help menu. Turn on the engine, there's no options, there's no lights. And yeah, it's just a simple little, almost like a dirt, almost like a dirt bike or a pit bike or a monkey bike, depending on what you've grown up with, like me personally. I've had some like similar things like this growing up. And yeah, just like animations of the levers, stops on dying, acceleration. For a small engine, it does have a little bit of a like pick up and go. But yeah, top speed is 31 miles an hour, 50 kilometers per hour. It does say the fuel capacity is only 5 litres, but with engines like these, these are very fuel efficient. So, I think I do love these kind of bikes, and yeah, once again, <laughs> stops on the dime. So, that, er, that is the Lizard Me Bike Boy Solutions Modding. Next. We've got the homemade Bell Trailer by Vanek. It is 1.65 megabytes to download. Price starts at eight and a half grand, and this is a auto loading trailer. So you'll find this under tools. Go down to Bell Loaders. At the end, it'll say Lizard 8M. So I'm guessing that is eight meters long. And yeah, we do have some options in terms of tires. So we've got. Michelin standard BKT wide tires, Verstein wide tires, Continental standard one or standard two, so just a bit of tread or no tread, then Michelin BKTs and then back to Verstein. So, full mechanism. This does nothing but just changes the visual aspect. So, for example, you use this for square bells. And foldable one and foldable two is something more if you've got ram bells so it looks better. So yeah, we've got two of them here. So we've got one with the standard configuration. And then we've got another one here with one of the foldable sections. And yeah, we've got 18 I think it's 100 no sorry, 240 centimeter bells. Can't remember the size of these bells, but it has got 18 bells, so use them as you wish. So these are square bells we've got at the moment. And we open our help menu. So we got options for transporting or operating position. And even when it's auto loaded, you can still strap them down, don't need to load them up and then sort of unload them onto the trailer and then have to strap it again manually like that. So yep, yeah, unload bells, and yeah, doesn't affect the tension straps, so you can just do your tension strap, so let's go and reset that, operating position, and yeah, let's go unload, and yeah, there's no control to move the bells out in that, so what you see here is what you get. There's no options to, you know, maneuver the bells out and put it onto the ground, so that is a limitation to this mod, so take that as you wish. But anyways, that is the homemade bell trailer by Valak. Next, we've got something actually quite special here and something unique I haven't really seen before on Farm Sim. This is the Lizard 2000 2x2 Royal Mill. This is by Agro. Gatti, if I pronounce that right, 6.37 megabytes to download, and I'll start off with reading the description of it. And it starts with 
The mod gives console players some options to have realism in feeling livestock. However, due to the limitation of scripts on consoles, perfect realism cannot be achieved in every situation. This mod is designed for producing crimped fodder of on livestock farms. The machine suits every needs of varying customers with low power requirements and a high production capacity. It can be used in with small machinery, but also is sufficient for large farms. And this can be used with TMR recipes, either with a forage wagon or in a feeding robot. And yeah, it does go down to say configurations, which we'll go down to. And yeah, it says mill starts unloaded when its pipe is unfolded automatically. But yeah, so let's go into the store and have a look at this. And you'll find this under tools and animals. So yeah, right at the end with animals, it is five slots on console goes down to one and as you see it accepts your usual wheat barley oats and all that but here's something about this there are options to discharge this as straw or hay so let's go into the configuration so start off with tires we've got treadboard bkt and that is it bit of oh, Bigger price with the BKTs. If you head to the back, got rear one signs, no or yes. So you have something like yes with that if you're on like an American map. Speed limit sign, I'm guessing this is for Europe and US or UK and US. So got a speed limit of 25, 40, or no. I get discharged, we've got hay or straw. License plate configuration, none. And unfortunately, you can't change the colour on this. But yeah, I can't remember how I've got it set up, but we have 130 horsepower requirement. So if we go to this one here, this has got wheat in. So pipe is out. Got options to open the cover or close it. So yeah, something a bit of realism. And you press L1 and right analog stick, that changes the pipe configure there. And R1 and right analog stick changes the pitch of it, so not too bad. As far as out you can go. But yeah, but here's the trick. So if we say unload this, 3,400 litres. That is straw. Now salt wheat. Got wheat in here. Yet the discharging speed is slow, but again, as I said in the mod description, this is something a bit more realistic. And if there's something as mentioned before, I have not seen on farm sim. Or at least for consoles at least, but that doesn't stop there we head to here, we've got soybeans, so a crop that you typically can't convert to straw or anything. But if we say unload here, we're seeing we're getting hay. So that, that is something a bit different, because you use any crop you want within reason. And you can automatically get straw or hay, so if you don't fancy doing hay work, or don't fancy, you know, just using a crop and getting straw from it when you're harvesting it, if you say, oh, we've got to get straw swaths, put a bit of a crop in, and yeah, you get hay or straw. So that is the Lizard 2000. 2x2 two two, roller mill by Agrogati. Next, we've got the Massey Ferguson MF1840 Mini Heston Bader. This is by Roost Mods. It is 5.39 megabytes to download. Slot count is 8 slots on console. Goes down to 1, I think. But yeah, we'll have a look. So it's under Baders. 
go down to the end. So yeah, goose sorts that eight slots goes down to one. Working speed of ten miles an hour. Just fifty horsepower requirement weighs one point six tons, and it produces a hundred and twenty centimeter bells. So yeah, wheel brand we've got lizard or Trelleborg. So depending on the region you're in, we've got either U lizard, lizard US or Trelleborg EU. If we go down, we've got designs. So we've got Heston, Heston class one or seventy anniversary. And that just changes the stickers on the side. So you Heston at the front, Heston and class one on side, or Heston and a 70th anniversary sticker, and back to none. If we head to the back, we've got warning equipment. So we've got a SMV triangle or none. So just a warning triangle number in. Goes from one, is on side, two, three, four, and goes up to nine, and back to none. And for the shoot on the back, using the hyper as an option as just a standard shoot, it comes out, they sound flat on its big side. Or if you want to turn it over, it does have a quarter turn shoot, so as in the name, it turns it by 90 degrees. And then back down to standard shoot, but yeah, for 22 grand, can't really complain about this, so let's go into the Massey Ferguson here, get this hooked up, and once again, we'll open the help menu, unfold beater, and all that does is just, yep, unfold the chute, let's lure the pickup, turn on the beater. Oh yeah, we've got some short swaths here, and yeah, in terms of the picking up width, I'll say yeah, it's around the, the 2.1, 2.2 meter working width. And yeah, as you can see, these are producing mini bells. But for some reason, I should sew down here a little bit. We've got the quarter turn on. It's not really turning it, so oh no, well there we go. So I'm guessing it's got to be a bit slow with it, so try it again. Unfolds. But if you're doing it at full speed with cruise control on, okay, it does put it onto the side, but then again, depends on like, your direction, your control. It can offset a little bit, so to use a shoot is down to your personal discretion. And have a look at the back, yeah, in terms of the pickup. Actually, I think it is slightly bigger than what you see typically because, yeah, I'll go like left to right, going around bends. Yeah, I swear it has a slightly wider pickup, maybe around 2.4, 2.5 meter working width. So yeah, it's the same width as the tractor here. So yeah, I actually do like these. Yeah, produces many bells. And if we say unfolds. Yeah, so it produces some mini bells. 700 a year capacity, so not too bad. Good bells to throw. And yeah, that is the Massey Ferguson MF 18 point beta by Rooster Mods. Next, we are at SOAR and we got the Lizard T229 front loader by Daniel X321, Jury J, and JMZ. It's 5.51 megabytes to download. And slot count, if we have a look, slot count is. Four slots on console goes down to one. And yeah, this front loader I'm having a lot of issues with. I spent last half an hour to an hour going over this, figure out how to get it all hooked up. Because it's all a Hoyer or a Quickie setup. And yeah, if you look at the mod description, it says the following 229 front loader designed for 45 to 135 horsepower tractors. And yeah, it goes on saying 
Please note, the loader only attaches to a dedicated loader console. To change this, you must change the joint tap in the attachable section from attachable front loader T229 to attachable front loader. Note, this will not visually match the tractor and I've gone and looked in the store and that and there's no options for that and it says recommend tractor leaves you a link and it is the lizard 16 by 14 this one here by Kazakh and yep yeah, I'm in the store with this with this particular tractor and there is no options whatsoever for a front loader whatsoever I know the PC version of this is the Ursus 1614 so maybe this is only a PC mod because yep yeah, I don't know but anyways Lizard T229 6,800 pounds and yep yeah, as said four slots goes down to one and yeah it says frame no or yes I've tried it with both and absolutely nothing main color you got gray black red blue and green that changes the main body of this and the bits where the hydraulics are is the design color so you've got red gray or black so yeah i've tried options with the weights on i've tried options with no weights and yeah there's again no option on this with the setup with like, I've gone through all the commands now all the configurations and absolutely nothing try to get aligned but it keeps on knocking it over so yeah this this I've missed something this is a broken mod or something on those lines ain't right I don't mean to do a disservice with this front loader but yeah, I just don't know what's going on here. But anyways, that is all the equipment. Next, we'll move on to our placeables. Starting off, we've got the UK Head Storage by MS Modding. It is 4 slots on console. 0.46 megabytes to download, starts at 50 grand. And yeah, this is mainly designed for storing hay bales, buffle. These look like they cover areas in that. Like, you know, you can put root crops or grain storage in. And yeah, I've tried loading 150,000 litres of carrots and yeah, hasn't gone well. Yeah, it does clip through, so yeah, this is only a bell storage. Can't do crops in that. But anyways, the UK hay storage. You'll find this under sheds. And if we go down to the end, we will find it under here. So, yep. 50 grand to place. Four slots goes down to one. I've opened the help menu. There is no options to change colors or anything. So, yep. That is the UK Hay Storage by MS Modding. Next. We've got the old wooden shed by Razor Monty. It is 0.59 megabytes to download. Slot count is 6, goes down to 1. And yeah, this is a simple old wooden shed for storing machinery, grain, and bells. It is 7 grand and it is 2 euros per day to half. And once again, you'll find this under buildings and sheds. So yeah old wooden sheds and once again no colour options which makes sense because it's wooden but yes yeah, so look, looking at the sort of detail and wear on the wood even to like the corrugated roofing and that it does have that nice rustic vibe and yeah so pretty much some decent equipment even the bison harvester we looked at earlier on but yep, yeah, so we need to get cracking on here, so we've still got a few more mods to look at. So that is the old wooden shed by Razor and Bonin Team. Next. 
we've got the basic garage by ICAST. It is 4.7 megabytes to download. It is 8 slots. And yeah, description goes as following. Basic wooden garage with red colour where you can store a machine or crops. The garage has rolling doors, small one person door. You can choose colour on the wooden sides from 20 options. Price is 45 grand and the maintenance cost is once again two dollars, euros or pounds. And yeah, let's open the help menu here. And yeah, it's a nice still quaint storage area. I have to go to closing the roll gates and roll doors. Nice sounding animations. Doors open and close. I've looked around and there is no light option from as far as I can find. But yeah, just a little, again, as in the name, it's a basic garage or garage. So you'll find this under buildings and sheds. And if we go over here, yep, basic garage. So yeah, we go press right on the D-pad. You've got a huge selection of options from reds, blues, pink, beiges, greens, white, greys, blacks. So yeah, you've got a huge plethora of options. And I, actually, I like that with mods and that. Yeah, have a bit of colour configuration option. I'm always a sucker for that. So that is the basic garage by iCast. Next. We've got the Metal Open Sheds, once again by iCast. This is 4 slots for a console, 1.76 MB to download. And yeah, similar to the other one we just looked at, it is a colourable metal open shed with a medium size. This is once again store vehicles or crops, 20 colours as optional, 45 grand. And it is a daily maintenance cost of two euros. So yeah, we head into build mode once again. Buildings and sheds. Our metal open sheds. So if we have a look here, once again, if we turn this around, so yeah, it just changes the lower option. So the lower options and the roofing on the front. So. Yep, not too bad. So that is the Metal Open Shed by iCast. Next. We've got the Mix Shed Pack by Missy B. It is 3.3 megabytes to download. And this is a pack of four sheds. With a mixed usage of crop storage, bulk storage, tractor port with a photophonic systems. And a workshop trigger. So... We head over here on the left. This is the vehicle workshop. It is seven slots on console, goes down to one. And yeah, you can see it's got four bays of oh sorry, two bays and four doors of options to open. This area here is purely for storing your equipment. And look again, perhaps use this for prop storage. We head over here. This is the workshop. So this is the dollar box area. In terms with the range on this, so anywhere on the inside you can use it. And apologize for the clip in, but you can also do this on the outside. So if you've got let's say a X9 combine harvester or a big bud tractor, as long as you get within this dollar box area and it goes to here, so Yep, a decent width for that. I can get any equipment here and you can just repair your equipment. So, we go over here. Mobile Vehicle Workshop, it says. So, yeah, we'll look at placements and all that in, in a minute. As we'll go through the rest of these sheds, then we'll start looking at placing them down. Next, if we head down here. And this is the bell storage. So... Just to confirm that actually a sec, so yeah. So yeah, technically bell sheds, if you look at it that way. So panels, £12,000 a month you'll get. And yeah, he uses sore bells or sore equipment, as mentioned before. 
We've got solar panels on the roof, so yeah, not bad option. Next, if we head down here, this is the root crop storage. And just to say the solar panel sheds, that is three slots. So yeah, we got the root crop storage here. And this is four slots on console. And yeah, again, nothing to really shout or go home about. Sorry, root crops here. There's no lights, no doors. And I have tested this, and unlike the hay storage we've looked at earlier on, there is no clipping of the root crops. And finally, if we head over here, uh, wait a minute, that is the same one we just looked at, just a different colour option. Apologies, got wrong buildings mixed up, so... Yep, we got the bell store here, that is three slots, so... Yep, similar to the root crop storage. There's no lights, no nothing to shout out about, but... Again, it's just a simple World's Line mod. Again, by Missy B, she does awesome mods, awesome maps and that. And yep, yeah, it's very simple, but it, it just works. And yep, yeah, it's nicely detailed. So you find this under buildings and sheds for all four. So if you look at the solar... Starts at 55 grand, and as mentioned before, three slots goes down to one. No car options there. We head to the vehicle workshop, so that changes the main panels on the front. I got a variety of greens, beiges, and reds, and like a dark blue or purplish, I think that is. Uh, I'll say that's dark blue. So yeah, that is 55 grand. The bell storage, 50 grand, starts at 3 slots, goes down to 1. Colour options, yes, changes around the back. I've go to the root crop storage. So placing it is a slight problem at fixed 90 degrees, unlike everything else, like everything else you can freely spin it but yeah I'm trying to rotate this and it is just only 90 degrees so I guess in the fact to criticize the mod that is the only criticism I can give it's yeah so something like court farm or something like that if you want to use this maybe not the best storage but again with some creativity you can make it work so yeah, that is the Mix Shed Pack by Missy B. Next, we'll head to our penultimate mod, which is the production facility over here. So this is the Big US Grain Mill by Hersham Power. It is 6.93 megabytes to download. Slot count is... Forgot the slot count. Again, do apologize, but I'll put that up in the editing. But anyways, as mentioned before, 6.93 megabytes to download. And yeah, big US Green Mill. So, compared to your base game Green Mill, this is 165 grand. Daily upkeep is 150 per month, per day. Size is 90 meters by 83 meters. To put that into scale, if we say, if we look at this here, Go to our productions, compare that to the base game Green Mill, so there we go. So yeah, that is a lot bigger, so I'll say that's one, two, three, four and a half times as big. But there is something you do get out of this, so yeah, as mentioned before, 165 grand. And inputs is over here. Ignore my setup over there. If we go over here to the front. This is the trigger area. So capacity is 520,000 litres and you can produce wheat, barley, oats or sorghum flour. Output capacity is 100,000 litres. And if we look at the recipes 
Actually, if you compare them to the base game Grain Mill, these are two times as fast per month. So, yeah, compared to the base game, you're paying an extra 50% because the base game is 100 grand. This is 165 grand, so 65% more cost. About four times as large. But, what you get in return is two times the production rate. And just in terms of waves, I think that suits a good typical US map. You've got your silos, got your green elevators, your pipes, and all that stuff. So if you're in the US, this may look very familiar to you as part of a local cooperative. So yeah, so you got your like basic building here. And yeah, just in general, been looking around on this, like try to look for any issues with it and yeah I can't find no details well yeah like no issues with it love like some of the realisms like like the patch marks here and there and yeah it's just a big fast green mill as in the name big US green mill so that is the big US green mill by Hershen Power next we'll look at our final mod for the day for our final mod of the day, we've got the Rudolf Horman Equestrian Pack by Missy B. It is 18.62 megabytes to download, and the equivalent slot counts are 9, 12, and 3. This is a equestrian pack and contains the horse stables, a riding hall, and a outdoor training area. So we'll start off with the horse stable itself. This holds eight horses and we have a look on the inside food capacity is 25,000 liters the straw capacity is 3,500 and yeah just going through around having a look got some nice details like shutters so keep the sunlight out all the options to up, open and close the gates. And yes, yeah, listen to that animation. And if we head out to here, we've got our horses. Can we close these? No. We'll try, try to jump over these. So you can't open those, but yeah, if you're a fan of horses, like do a bit of ranching, this is a certain mod for you, so. Let's hop into one of these horses. So that is the stables. And if we head over here to the riding area. So you want to keep your horses active in that. Oops. There we go, Let's just hop over that. And yeah, hopping around. And oh, I am absolutely terrible at driving horses. But key up. There we go. So collisions. I so, see you know, I have not done horses that often, haven't done the equestrian stuff and that before, so Yeah, not sure with these collisions, are they within farm sim physics or if it's a mod. But yes, even still regardless, it actually ain't too bad. And then lastly, we've got the riding hall, so if it's absolutely bucking down on the outside, still get your horses active. I'll just take them out to the riding hall. And actually, listen to that sec. There's an echo effect. There is an absolute echo effect. I didn't think that was possible, but yeah, just that echo in effect. So yeah, we turn on our help menu. Looks like there is a option for lights. So yeah, it's an option to turn on and off the blinds. But yeah, I thought there was a light switch. It looks like there's some light switches, but I can't find any. Nope, I can't find no light switches. 
But anyway, so we'll find these under animals and horses. So the riding hall starts off with at 25 grand. And I cannot see a colour option. So your slot count is 9, that goes down to 1. Next we've got the horse stable, so that starts off at 90 grand. So base food is oats and sorghum, except hay. And then for the root crops, it's saying it only needs carrots, parsnip or red beets. So There's no potato option. Uh, for the outdoor train area, three slots go down to one, 25 grand. And yeah, not too bad. So yeah, if we head to our horses, so yep. Yeah, as mentioned before, capacities is 3,500 litres for the straw. Total capacity is 25,000 litres for food. 57% is for the base food. 38% is for hay. And for that, that's 5%, so 1,200. 1250 litres of root crops, so yeah, not too bad. And that is the last of the mods for today. This is the Rudolph Foreman Equestrian Pack by Missy B. And yeah, we've come to the end of the mod review for today on the 27th of February. And for my first mod review proper in a while, I know I've made some mistakes. But going forward, I will be correcting these, and hopefully I'll clear up a lot of this in the editing. But anyways, I hope you find this video useful in some way, shape or form. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you're not stay. But for now, this is from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all... A uh, very soon.